Alright, this is my second stint in the comedy business. I worked in the late 90s up in Philadelphia. I'm not really sure why I'm getting back into this because uh, the pay is awful. People talk about a lot of bad jobs. Back in Philadelphia when I got started, you would work your way up. First paid gig you would get, 25 bucks a night. Right, not very good, right? But the club owners, they would try to, try to make it glamorous. You know, like, well, John, you know, as an MC, you're only working 10 minutes. So what can I do with that? Like talking to chicks at the bar. Wow, you're a stand-up comic. You must make lots of money. 150 an hour. <laughs> and I'd go home for the holidays. My mom would be like, 40 years of your life, this is the best we get out of you, stand-up comedy? Like, Mom, I'm making 150 bucks an hour. Well, how come the bill collectors are still calling? How many times I got to tell you, I only work 10 minutes a month. <laughs> So I said, uh, you know, comedy's not really a really great job, but then my whole life has been filled with bad jobs. Probably the worst job I ever had uh, was waiting tables. So let's have a hand for the wait staff here. Tough job. <laughs> I worked at one of those big chain restaurants, probably not contractually allowed to say it. Uh, it rhymed with crapple cheese. Um, thank you. And uh, so the big thing with, you know, big thing with these restaurants, the chain restaurants, People are kind of ignorant about the food industry, you know, They're not really the, you know, the people that know what's going on in the food, you know, like, wow, they make fried broccoli bites, awesome. So, I'm waiting on this table, two young couples, and, uh, you know, the one guy grabs a menu, he's going to be confident with the babes, and he's like, uh, yeah, we're going to start off with the uh, quasadillas. <laughs> and, uh, while you're here, do you mind telling us what the vaginas are like? <laughs> Yeah, maybe hooked on phonics, probably a little graduate work for the guy or something like that. You know, but I'm like, vaginas, you don't want to get that. That shit itches really bad. That would suck. You know what's even better? Like, at the, you know, I, I drop the check on the table, the, the two girls had, you know, gone to the bathroom together like you guys do. And, uh, you know, two guys at the table, like Larry, that was some impressive ordering. I'm telling you, man, we are going to get some vagina from these chicks. <laughs> Uh, so what else did I do? I delivered pizza for Domino's. Yeah, oh, I'm impressive. You're impressed by that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sure it's a tough job. What are you I'm proud of you. Yeah, Domino's pizza, not very good. How, how many people know you're supposed to tip the pizza guy when he gets to the door? Yeah. Wow. It's like my neighborhood is chasing me now. Like, you're supposed to tip the pizza guy. I would get to the door, you know, like the bill would be $9.99. People pull out a $10 bill and go, here, keep it. I keep what? My fucking cool so I don't kill you? <laughs> and then I take my penny and I get into my car with like a big rubber pizza slice on the top and like, maybe I'll just crash into a fucking pole. 